Hello, welcome to the Modernization for Lifecycle Integration or Merlin Technical Videos. In this session, we're going to take a look at some of the editing capabilities that's part of the IDE for the IBM I developer that we deliver with Merlin. Now, first off, Merlin is our containerized cloud based tooling to help with lifecycle integration, modernization, and helping our IBM I community move forward into the future. We've created a couple of interesting tools that we are delivering. First, an IBM I developer, an IDE for helping developers build and create IBM I native applications. Additionally, we have tooling for helping our customers move into the CICD ecosystem. In this video, we're going to focus specifically on this development environment. Let's take a look at the editor. We'll take a look at out, outline views, tokenizations, content assist, code formatting, and understanding all the different ILE languages, including being able to understand and tokenize embedded SQL versus RPG versus regular SQL files. Without any ado, further ado, let's have Eric Simpson, one of our developers from the Merlin team, walk us through using the IDE. In Merlin, there is rich editing support for IBM I programming languages. IOE RPG has the most extensive uh, editing features. Uh, when we load the source, it does get tokenized, so it, it has the proper colors. But we do build up a model of the source, and from that model, we are able to show uh, an outline view showing the different categories of elements within the source, and also lets you navigate around the source to the different elements. When you're within the source, we have hover information. So if you are on a procedure call, it will show you information or comments from the procedure definition. So it helps you understand your code. Uh, if you are on a procedure call, you right click, you can say go to references and it will show you all the references to this procedure. It even shows you a bit of the context around each of those calls and lets you go to those calls. Within the editor on the left, by the line numbers, uh, there are little arrows. These allow you to collapse or expand blocks of the source. You can specify formatting options for ILE RPG. And this can then be used to format selections of the source or format the whole document to your coding style. Also within the editor, there is refactoring support. So you can rename a symbol. So this is an intelligent refactoring, not just a find and replace. This will update the model where all the elements occur. If you do shift enter, you will actually get a refactoring preview. So you can actually see what it's going to do before it does the change. And then you can choose to either apply the refactoring or discard the refactoring. Once the refactoring is done, then the model is updated and that updates the outline view. Within the editor, while you're editing, you can do control space in order to invoke content assist. This can show you elements from the language itself, such as opcodes, and it can also show you elements from the model, so your procedure calls. Also, there is a live problems view. So as you're editing, any issues that are found will show up in the problems view. You can navigate from the problems view to the error and also as you fix the issues, the problems view is automatically updated. SQL has tokenization support. It also has the code folding support to collapse sections.
And also we do have formatting support for SQL for your code style. And in, in addition, then if you have embedded SQL in your RPG, it has tokenization, as well as having uh, formatting support. So if we go into the preferences, you can customize the formatting options for SQL. There are a variety of options available. And then you can format the document or format the selection. For other IBMI programming languages, there is uh, tokenization support. This includes uh, OPM RPG, as well as CL, uh, COBOL, uh, UIM, DDS, and C++. Thank you very much, Eric. Thank you for watching this video. We look forward to creating many more. A couple of key pages that can help you get more information about how you can use Merlin as we move forward into the world of developing modern applications.